<clears throat> so I had a really weird experience at the cigarette store tonight. So this was the night Jeanette was working. So I took my dog with me. And when I got there, there was this woman that was, she was already in the store. And <clears throat> she, she kind of followed me around a little bit. I thought maybe she just happened to be looking at the same things. I was looking at soda and she, she, she stood next to me. And she started talking to me about my dog. And she said that she could tell that, that there was something wrong with my dog. And she said, can I give you my number and I can, we can talk about that. And I, I politely told her, no, that's, that's okay. And then she, uh, she like grabbed my arm, not real hard, but I'm not comfortable with people touching me in the first place. So she grabbed me and said, you need help. I can help you. And I said, don't touch me. And I, I said this loudly enough and I keep make, I kept making eye contact with the store clerk because she and I have known each other for a very long time and she knows that I, I have anxiety and we're both just staring at each other and we don't know what to do. And the woman kind of backed off and she's like, well, fine. <clears throat> and then I walked around and I took Cujo with me and she tried to follow me and she kept trying to talk to me about like she kept offering me her number and she kept talking like saying really weird bizarre things about my dog that my dog was my dog is apparently dying and there are things my dog needs to tell me and I I said I don't I really don't want to talk to you and then she she went back to the counter and I was just kind of I was waiting for her to leave because I wanted to talk to Jeanette and like I said Jeanette and I just kind of kept making eye contact and I think the woman knew that and she was standing next to the, this cabinet that has chewing tobacco and she says you may as well check out because I'm not leaving and she just she was staring at me really intensely as I was checking out and I was shaking. And as the, as Jeanette handed me my chain, she, she held my hand a little bit. And we just kind of, we just looked at each other because we didn't know what to do. And as I was leaving, she, the, the weird woman followed me to the door. And I was, I was terrified that she was trying to, she was going to try to follow me home. Fortunately, she didn't. But the minute I, the minute I got home, I slammed my door and I had a little bit of an emotional breakdown. I couldn't breathe and just completely ruined my night. This, because the store closes at nine and I got there at eight thirty because that's usually the slow time. And now I don't want to leave because I've calmed down a little bit. I I did a video before this one. But it didn't, it kept freaking out on me. Yeah, these, I don't encounter people like this very often, but every so often I will encounter these real touchy people claim, claiming that they're psychic and they know I have anxiety and they can help me and I'm just, I'm not comfortable with strangers touching me. A stranger touches me and I completely freak the hell out, which is what happened. And... I'm just not comfortable, and I think she freaked out Cujo, too, because the minute Cujo, the minute we walked in the door, Cujo ran to her bed, which is not normal for her. So, anyways, that situation and the anxiety that followed it, and I'm still having some, completely ruined my night. I, I, I wish I knew how to avoid people like this, because you can either... I did both the polite route and the and the assertive route, and neither one worked for me. So, yeah, that's that's how my night went. Thank you for watching.